We are here with the Nine of Clubs. Latest Hello. band out in Manchester. Can you introduce yourself, guys? Who uh, are yeah. you? Um, and what do you play in the band? I'm Ross, um, and I play lead bass. Joel, I'm a singer. Steve, on the keyboard. I'm Nick, and I play drums. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you laugh at me and play drums? <laughs> How did you guys like get your name then? Like, tell us the story well, about the um, clubs. We all started playing together, and then the first time, me and him were walking home together. And we go under this train bridge, and that card is on the floor. So you found the card on the floor? Yeah. Like, what inspired you? Well, it couldn't just be coincidence. <laughs> you know. We just, we just sort of agreed then Fate. and there. Oh, that and it sounds it? really cool, Nine of Clubs. Yeah, yeah I've got a question, though. You two, was, well, that was we. When uh, we finished Fate you happened. Live, you got lift. lift. Yeah, Chubb Joel in Paradise. We don't really like both the bus. Yeah, it's just about, why, why was we left out? Uh -huh. So that's how you got your name and found the card on the floor. Yeah, yeah. apparently, like yeah, these two found the card on the floor and we were we were yeah. there. Exactly. So we don't we have no say in what so the name is. Basically them two are the nine of clubs, not you. <laughs> Just not your but own. But the fu the, the funny thing is, right, he's the singer and I'm the lead instrument, so we're we, the we essence. We made of the band. <laughs> oh, here we go. Know, we make it. Alright, alright. They might have got a name. So, we so make like, it at the end of the day. What, what yeah. sort of music do you make then as the nine of clubs? Oh. Could you call it music? <laughs> no, I think it's all right. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think Organized it's noise. like, oh, no, it's yeah. like, a, I, I suppose it's a bit of a twist on, on like rock blues music, in a way, what you say, it's kind of yeah. sort of thing. Like, what, what are your influences to the music you make, like, who do you listen to that inspires you? The right role mm -hmm. Well, I have different influences. Yeah, I think that's kind of what's good. Yeah, each, to different yeah each one has their own influences, and it's just a combination that's... Ross, go! Yeah. Have, have you well, got any <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, like bands, I'd say that I listen to that sound. I'd say like us in a way would be sort of like the White Stripes, um, right. the Black Keys, and things like that. But then again, my favourite like style of music is electronic music. Electronic music. We yeah. don't sound anything like that. But I, I, I like I like to listen to that. Uh, like he listens to Oasis and yeah. some other stuff. Yeah, and I'm more and he's classical and AC/DC. Kind of, all that kind of stuff. Kind of stuff. Like that, yeah. yeah. And I just listen to sad rock that people don't. <laughs> sad rock. Sad rock. <laughs> well, you, you say you're the lead like bass player, right? Mm -hmm. What other instrument would you play like besides? Um, if I didn't play bass guitar, I'd probably play the piano. The piano. Yeah, I just think it'd be good to be able to play the piano. Not the keyboards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or the organ. Uh, <laughs> the, the the piano. I'd love to be able to play uh, like classical music on the piano. I think that'd be good. But, but like Joe, you, you don't play an instrument. Like you sing. Because what, what he's you? got no talent. <laughs> <laughs> he just found his way into the band. <laughs> nah, no, I play a drum there. You play drums. Yeah, that's fun. Seems like you guys are challenging each other's you know <sighs> roles in this band. And all mm. that. That's part of it. <laughs> well, I'd want to play the harmonica, so that's not challenging anyone. <laughs> Although, with one new song that we've got coming out that it won't be on the EP, um, it's an idea that me and Joel have had. Um, we're going to throw in like four different harmonicas, aren't we? On yeah. The, mm -hmm. So, yeah. we are going to introduce harmonicas on it. I've not told you. You see, like, Nick, Nick, <laughs> Nick and Steve find the clubs, you two find, you know, find the instruments, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, we tell them what to do. Like I said before, we're the, we are the essence of the band. Yeah, yeah. the essence of the we're band. The light, yeah. We're the fire of the band, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. They're the charcoal. Who needs it? What about you? What would you play, man? I probably wouldn't mind playing the drums, actually. Mm. Mm. Don't you play the drums on the keyboard already? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> that isn't funny. But, uh, like, who, who writes your songs then and all that? And mm. how do you guys It's a lanky fire? guy. Well, what happens is, I'll come up with a riff at home. Um, probably write some lyrics to it as well. Yeah. Um, and then I don't write, I don't write the, the song from start to finish. Right. I'll I'll write I'll have an idea. I'll write a few verses, a chorus, a riff. Yeah. And then I'll go in, I'll play it, and then everyone will sort of contribute with their yeah. ideas of what it'll be, and yeah. then it'll go on from there. Then but then we'll all finish writing the song together. Right, but you start with the foundation. Yeah. Ross comes yeah. up. No, Ross, oh, comes, yeah. Ross comes up with the basic structure, and then we just form everything around that, and then that's when we get to finish something. But we all, we, sometimes yeah, it'll just be like, like last time we were all just frustrated. No, so I, it, I stood up and it. stole his bass. He went on my drums, and then we came up with another song off lyrics that I'd written. And, then and I was just sat there, and he was like, right, he was just doing a riff and that, and then he was like, right, get up on the mic, and then 
We just produce magic, that is it. <laughs> it magic. magic. I like that. <laughs> Since you found like, you know, the card on the floor, nine of the clubs and all that, that's how you found your name, but how did you guys actually meet? Like oh, how did you find Long story. <laughs> when did you think like, hey, guys, <laughs> we should start a band? Well, me and Ross were in and out of bands <laughs> yeah. for about two years, and it was just nowhere. It was like brick wall. We never actually, we never actually, we never actually made a single song. We just did like, <laughs> we just stood in a room, paid money to stand there and make a lot of noise. Yeah. And, just and then, um, basically, you just practice for years, and you know. <laughs> and then after that, I sat, got better. <laughs> I sat with a producer, and uh, right. he basically said. That again and get people who are dedicated. So then I spoke to a 13 year veteran of keyboards over there. <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, I got a mate, I'll come down and we'll bring him as a singer. And yeah. this guy turned up and he was alright. <laughs> <laughs> kind of went, This is working pretty well. And we got a song done dead quick and then. Yeah, we got a song done on the first the first, first time we all actually played together the first, for the first time. That, but as they set up, we got yeah. one song. Well, it, like, within the first dog shit song. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was terrible. Dog but it was still shit. a song. And then yeah. the week after, it, is that, is that when you when you thought like yeah we, we can actually do this we could, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys got like an EP coming up like tell us more about that yeah, yeah got an EP coming out soon got a few songs on the list and that, that. we got we got the we got the list we got a couple that aren't actually going to be on there that we're just going to work on after we're just trying different yeah. stuff and messing about and that yeah we've got we're starting we're starting recording the EP next week um, probably if we get it done quick enough. Maybe a music video of us recording it as well at the same time. Yeah, possibly. Have you got a name for like this EP that's coming out? Yeah, um, I told you about it the other day. Go for it. Um, I've not told you to, but it's going to be called Clubbed Up. Have, have you got any favourite songs in the EP that you pretty much enjoy? We all have different favourites, don't we? Mm. Yeah. What's yours? Yours is a Lazy Toad, isn't it? Nah, no, no, that rested me. That's. Uh, all right, yeah. Uh, I reckon mine's probably Lazy Toad. I prefer playing success story. Oh, that's, that's mine. Dirty Riff is fun though. Uh, they arrested me now. Yeah. Yeah. Taking all of that. So basically, every song has been covered by. Apart uh, from Who Are You. Yeah. Apart from Who Are You. Mm. Yeah. 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 It's not yeah. Nice yeah screw that. One. <laughs> the first one we did as well. <laughs> first proper good one we did. <laughs> nah, it's great. Right. Yeah. No, I think we. It's still a good song. It's just we each we each have our own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got like. You know, since nobody knows you as yet, like you've just started, do you yeah. feel any pressure, like your first EP making it? No, well, no, because no, this is where you, this is where you like start out, isn't it? This is where you start to create your sound. Oh, no, and people start yeah, make magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about anything. There's no pressure in in making music because it's not like it's a competition. Yeah. Like people might like it, people might not, but it doesn't matter if the people don't like it. It matters about the people who do like it, and then you carry on from there, basically. Mm -hmm. We're not going to change what we play. It's just suits me. It might sound stupid, but we're making it for us as well. Yeah. But like, so what, if, if if you could play a venue like anywhere in the world, where would you want to perform? Uh, I'd be? play New York, mate. New yeah. York. Yeah. Well, I might since work out. Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Might have been the basement. Yeah, I'd have to join. I'd have to join Nick there. I'd, I'd play in the basement. In the basement. Yeah. It's not literally a basement. <laughs> it's like <laughs> sure, Nat King Cole played there and Frank Sinatra and things like that. Right. It's a legend. Maybe. Well, what yeah. about you, Stevie Wonder? Old Trafford Stadium for me, that would be. Oh, this is going to spark up some kind of rage now and it's safe. Uh, which band or artist would you like to play with, like, at this venue? Uh, at this moment in time, I'd probably say the Black Keys. I think that would be an interesting yeah. thing to do. I like their setup, it's unusual, like ours. And their yeah. general setup is like drums and guitar, that's pretty much it. And they have a keyboard sometimes, and that's pretty much our setup. Nah, I'm feeling the dead weather, mate. Yeah, they're good, yeah. Good. But I'm happy. Yeah, good night, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Up. yeah. Mm -hmm. Would be bad after saying Black Keys. Black Keys, yeah. yeah. Please, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill them. I was gonna say ACDC, but I know that's not gonna happen. It's it's not, so, oh, yeah, we're all gonna play these. <laughs> yeah, no, but I mean, I mean, like, <laughs> no, you don't get one band from one genre and play with another band from another genre. It'd so be alright, you got 13 years behind you. So that's true. What white stripes on the Black Keys? White stripes. White stripes. Black Keys. Black Keys. White stripe black keys, this is some racial division. <laughs> <laughs> Who smells the worst in the band? Joel. Joel. Oh, that's not saying that. Ross. Full I'm going to say Ross now. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's most likely to, um, when you guys are on tour, get all the girls? Stay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, probably, probably Nick and Joel. Me and Steel will be sat there on our own. Oh. With the wingmen. 
No, 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 Is there any reason like you guys haven't got a guitarist though? Um, nah, nah, it's all down there. Well, we made it. like we didn't, we didn't really want or need one. Yeah. Really. It's just like, hey, don't add, I don't think it'll add anything to our it'll sound. It'll take away from it as well, you know, the uniqueness of it. Nobody yeah, plays we, we already have it. A unique sound as it is. If you've got a guitarist in it, we'd just be another, another band, band with a guitarist yeah. at some yeah. stage, you know what I mean? So, you consider yourself different now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but so, so what's next for the Nine of Clubs and um, what, since you guys are fresh and new, no one knows yet, like. Uh, well, what's next? We got the EP. Yeah. After the EP, it's we got two EP launches set up. Yeah, we got two. Uh, we got the Cornelius launch. Crane, and we've got uh, Transition, Transition Baby. Baby. Transition Baby. We're two now. very different genres, so you know we're trying to steal everybody's crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to set up gigs with Urban Chess as well, since they're on the Chess Club label with us. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, man, it was nice um, speaking to you guys. I yeah, wish it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't very much speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it was my time. Yeah. But yeah, man, all the best for you guys in the future. And, uh, yeah. Good luck with your EP. Yeah, man, thank you very much. Bye.